What's going on, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? <laughs> So wow. here we are, we at the Cinemark. Back at it again with the bad angles. Yeah, nice angles. Y'all see, y'all see the light reflecting off us. Damn. You know? Um, we out here, we at the Cinemark. The dry Cinemark. <laughs> we're about to go see True uh, Black Love. It's not called Black Love, y'all. It's called uh, The Photograph. The Photograph. It's a Ray. AKA the Black Love oh my gosh. movie. That's what I coined no, it because. On one of the, on one of the interviews, he was saying he didn't want it to be like a black love story. He just wants to be a love story, like a regular movie that nobody don't generalize. So mm. it's a love movie. Uh, oh, it's such a black love like commercial. But no, stop saying black so love. Gonna, say, <laughs> okay, it's but it can it's a love movie, no. but it just happened to have black people in it too. We're gonna go on there and see this and then we're gonna sit down and give a good review what? on how uh, how the movie went. Yeah. All right. Okay, we'll see. We'll be back. All right, so here we are, y'all. We're back from the movie theater and finally sat down. And we talked about the movie a little bit, but we're going to go in and give y'all a full review, honest review of the photograph starring Issa Rae and Lakeith Stanfield. Lakeith Stanfield. All right. So, I guess we'll start with you, boo. Uh -oh. Um, so I love Issa Rae, okay? Everything Issa Rae, I'm rooted for everybody black. But this movie, it didn't, without giving spoilers, it did not meet my expectations. It was, I, I did like their chemistry. They're, they're both awkward, you know, it's just awkward. He just awkward and I think they work well together on screen. I do think it could have been better. Uh, I think that the storyline could have been more exciting. Um, and I just, I was just, I, 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 I was a little let down. I was a little let down. I'm glad that I, you know, we supported by going to see the movie to help with the box ratings and stuff. But what you got to say about it? Yeah, I'll say overall it was a, uh, it was a solid, if, if, if you don't have nothing else to do, um, like nothing else, yeah, go ahead and give it a give it a look. Um, if you're a woman, uh, for men, I would say, I mean, it's it's already a given. It's the photograph. Um, you can tell by the previews that it's a chick flick, but it didn't really have that element that I wanted of suspense or a plot twist where I thought that. The photograph was gonna end up, or the relationship that they ended up having was gonna be impacted by the photograph. The photograph literally didn't really play, like it had semblance throughout the movie. Is that a spoiler? Nah, we we good. We gonna we just gonna talk it up. But the photograph, what? Okay. Yeah. So the, the photograph had it had significance throughout the movie, but it didn't play the role I personally thought it was going to play. What role did you think it was going to play? I think I was expecting, like, for them to, like, I thought that the dude was going to be, I thought the older guy that ended up being Issa Rae's dad, May, May's dad, um, I thought that he was going to end up being, like, Strickland's, what's his first name again? Keith. Keith? I thought he was going to end up being, like, his dad, and then the mom was going to be the mom was going to be the mom of uh May 
and then like they were just reliving everything through their parents right i thought that like their parents i thought they were like the off they were going to be the offspring and they ended up back in, in a relationship what you thought way deeper in, into it than i did and if that would have been the case, then they would have been sister and brother. Cause no, not sister and brother, but I I didn't know that he was going to be her dad. I thought he was going to be his dad, I'm... and she she was going to be her mom. That would have been a good plot, Poop. It would have been better. <laughs> um, since since we're talking beats of the movie, I I, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, the soundtrack, although I didn't know the songs, except for one. Doug knew everything. I did love the live music that they played, the jazz. I love jazz. I'm from Louisiana, so I love the Louisiana elements. Like, I love that. Um, but it just, it was so, if I wouldn't have had a full night's rest, I might have been a little tired in the movie. It wasn't enough excitement. Um, they brought up his ex. I was hoping, ooh, maybe at least they'll run into the ex in new orleans but they they didn't even run to her like what was the point of mentioning her I, well i get she it she was just she was just she was there for plot for story i get the reason why she was mentioned she was mentioned because they want they want it to seem like he rushes into love and he never even told her he loved her i could have sworn on the previews i heard that no i don't know i don't know it 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 it, it was a slow plotting movie it was real slow it they it could have been moved along faster than it was. It didn't have to be like it was a lot of the same things, the same things being rehashed over and over and over. And it's like, all right, is he gonna move to London or is he gonna tell her? Well, we know he gonna tell her. How long are we gonna? She kind of had to chase him though. Like he game. really didn't put much effort in showing his interest. He didn't call Not her at back. All. He Not didn't. At all. He just up and went to London. Was like, oh well, well I, oh I, I want to be with you, but then like. Are you in London now? Oh, I've been thinking about you, but you ain't talked to her. Like, she had to fly out there to see him. Like, I, 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 the movie was anticlimactic and it ended on a very boring note. Well, you cried at the, at the end, but look, I didn't she, cry at the end, at the end, well, at one part at the end, but look, it was, it was what? I didn't cry at the end. You weren't tearing up when we were walking out the... Uh... No. I had eye boogers. Oh, it was some wet eye boogers because I thought I seen I was not water crying. dripping down the your only, eyes. The only water. time I might have teared up in the movie is when I, her mom died of cancer and then she died of cancer. Like I, because, So when I tear up about stuff, it's because I think of personal things in my life or things I've experienced or that I know that people have experienced. And I know people where cancer ran in their family and all I could think of was dang back in the day the chemo wasn't advanced like it is now the testing uh family testing was in advanced like I be going all deep into stuff like I know people who've experienced their parents passing from cancer and then they passed from cancer and now their kids are getting tested and stuff and worrying if they're gonna pass. but that's not the movie but that so as far as as far as her um she she was supposed to be the one that was more like her mom and she ended up seeing like catching feelings and didn't really um have that rolling stone vibe that her right. mom had i right. thought he was more of like her mom right. than anything else yeah so i don't really know and she kept saying oh maybe i'm just like her but you're completely the opposite, completely opposite. you're 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 hopeless romantic chasing the dude yeah you're doing the most so. across the world and um i don't know if i thought she was gonna be on more like a uh the show uh she's gotta have it like, I don't know if I thought she was going to be more on that vibe. Yo, he loved comparing but... women to she's got to... If y'all haven't seen it, wow. don't watch it. It's a waste of time. Well, I don't the love girls... comparing women to she's got to have women. it. I'm sorry. So, overall, uh, you go first. What would you rate this movie? <laughs> so, I'll be... I'm biased. So, unbiased unbiased rating despite the fact they black i don't want to support black movies i would give out of 10 i would give it hard five sorry not impressed I'm not. Okay. i would only watch it again if there was nothing else to watch on tv and it was raining outside and maybe then i still would not watch it okay so it had its moments it, it was had a good its... movie it was just really boring it was really basic and boring 
Yeah, it had its moments for me. Um, it had its moments where the banter and things like that, the dialogue was kind of cool. It was funny. Um, but for the most part, like I said, it was slow plotting and um, the the plot was just kind of all over the place. So it didn't really know what it wanted to be. I'm a big fan of plot. So on the basis of that and how slow it was, I would have to give it a three out of ten. I would have to. Um that's me being completely unbiased. I have never seen Issa, Issa Rae um, acting. I've seen like an episode or two of Insecure, but I've never seen her acting. She did a great job. The acting was phenomenal. It was just that the movie didn't know what it wanted to be. And some of the characters didn't even know who they were supposed to be. Um, and had I not drunk a big cup of coffee before we went in there, chances are I'd have been asleep. Um, so watch it on uh Netflix. It's, when it comes to Netflix or why is it going to Netflix and not to HBO? Or, it's definitely gonna go to HBO. It it could go to HBO or um wait a few weeks and well I won't recommend any illegal streaming sites. <laughs> but, oh my god. Uh, watch it on watch it on Netflix or on the on, on the streaming service when it comes there. Um it's, Sorry, it's a, I really do love you. Like I'm rooting for you, girl. I love you, my friend. We friends. All right. And that's our review for the photograph. Hood Nation out. Out.